Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to part five of my Corpse Party Let's Play. In the last episode, Satoshi met up with Naomi and saved her from killing herself, thank goodness. So now Naomi seems to be safe for now, hopefully, and we are now on the search for Yuka. So, uh, man, after saving Naomi, I don't want to leave her alone because I feel like something bad's going to happen if I leave her be, but I don't really have much of a choice, so let's go. And as usual, I don't even know if I'm going the right way, I'm just... Oh. Oh. The walkway was just at the bottom of these stairs to the right. I was just about to say, I don't know if I'm even going the right way, I just go in a direction and I just... Go. But, uh... Okay, I... Guess I'm going the right way? Oh, okay. It's not here. I was thinking that, I was like, it feels a lot smaller. Why is there a wall here? There was, there was a whole other building. What the hell is going on? Yuka! Yuka! Why must you torment me like this? Oh. Okay, now we're now we're getting into it about Kazami and I'm guessing he probably killed all of his classmates before he killed that other dude in the last episode. <laughs> Sign said elementary school students couldn't buy them without a parent's permission. <laughs> but they sold me a hamster anyway, and it was only 450 yen. <laughs> oh, this is little him. Wow. Oh boy, I guess he was always a little bit of a sociopath. Didn't I tell you their lives aren't worth much at all? <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. You guys called me out. Never trust the, uh, don't trust the pretty boy. <laughs> so what are we going to do with it? Look at how cute he is. You want to take care of him? Oh, man, he's probably going to, he's probably going to take that hamster and, like, step on it or throw it against a wall or something. Animal cruelty. One of the factors, one of the, uh, the tells of, a uh, of a psychopath. <laughs> You're kidding, right? That smelly thing? So what then? Something really special. Wait till you see it. It's like nothing else. I'm what, is that the uh, the guy that he stabbed in the last episode, or is it someone completely different? Oh my gosh. The end of a life, the very moment of death. Come on, give it here. Jesus, I was thinking maybe the school just made the guy go crazy, but he's always been like this. Oh. <laughs> this box cutter should do the trick. 
Watch closely now. Oh no, they've even got the little sound effects of the hamster. Yuya, what do you think you're doing? It's Kazami's sister. Nothing. Don't you nothing me, you little asshole. You've got a knife and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet. So I'm not wrong when I say nothing now, am I? Stupid bitch. Are you for real? You realize no one likes a smartass, right? Ah, uh, he probably killed his sister, didn't he? You'd better cool that sass mouth or you'll grow up to be even more of a good-for-nothing dirtbag than you already are. Uh, Kizami, give him here. I'll take care of the little guy myself, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. I swear, I don't know how he can put up with you. Wow. Just shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyway? If I had a little brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. Wow. I sure as hell wouldn't be like my goddamn holier-than-thou sister or my fucking retard of a brother and listen to the little tyke and respect him. Oh boy. Ooh. And if I had a little sister of my own. Oh god! Oh god! Ew! Oh, that just- I just realized. I mean, I, I had a feeling after he killed that guy that he didn't actually have a little sister, but now when he's talking about like, ooh, if I had a little sister of my own, and then he was walking around with Yuka. Oh god, the horrible things that could have happened if she hadn't left him. Oh, I feel so dirty. Oh, I feel so dirty. Let you can you could going with him. Oh, God, I'm s I I still feel so betrayed. I can't believe I got taken in by him. No, oh, no, no, no! Shoot, I was hoping she'd gotten away. Oh God, this feels so gross watching this now. Ugh. What's the matter, Yuka? They're all full. Hmm? Oh, wow. What the hell? Who did this? <laughs> this, ep this, sh this, this game should just be called more like Yuka's quest for a toilet rather than anything else. Or did they do it themselves? Oh, great, I'm in control of this asshole. Virtually coated in some sort of unidentifiable mucus. Ooh, there's a compact mirror here with sticky, bloody handprints all over it. Seems like a pretty modern design, similar to what a lot of girls in my class use. After being trapped in here for a while. I wonder how the owner's face must have looked the last time she took this thing out. There's hair all over the sink as well. The white ceramic basin has a whole lot of red dried blood stains all over it. Okay, I'm just delaying the inevitable. Let's take a look. The body inside is too near the stall door. Every time you try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces closed. That's quite a stench. Oh god, one of these is- something's gonna happen to one of these. There's a student ID name tag on the floor outside. Uh, Mari Ro Rokuharu. Oh, another student ID name tag. Uh, Kotoe Koriyama. I should keep an eye on where, like, the schools are, because I totally missed it, where it's like... I had a feeling that there was at least the one girl that he ran into last time, the dead body, was definitely someone that he knew. 
But uh, someone pointed out in the comments that one of the spirits was calling out his name, so implying that maybe he killed her. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for a ghost. I'm waiting for something. Something to pop up. Oh. A great many lives ended in this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sad thing is he would have been better off sh oh, Yuka would have been better off with the uh, uh, the guy with the glasses who's taking the pictures one day I will remember his name ooh oh boy am I gonna have to run from him am I gonna have to run Oh boy. Yuka-chan. Oh. Oh, poor little Yuka with all those bodies in there. You'll never be able to relieve yourself. Should've used the bucket, girl. Should've used the bucket. So. Well then. Ikoka. Shall we be off? Oh, he's not even hiding his creepiness anymore. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh God, I was joking before about him being a, a older, new older brother for Yuka, and I take everything back. I feel so bad. My dear little sister. Oh, God, please let someone find Yuka soon, please. Oh, my gosh. So creepy. This is the creepiest thing yet, is just knowing what he thinks about Yuka in his head. Oh! Oh! Ayumi! Oh, hopefully she'll find him, but then she's probably gonna have to take Yuka and run from that creeper. Sure is cold. Oh my god, I forgot all about I feel bad I forgot all about them. Where the hell did Miss Yue and Kishinuma go anyway? Don't leave me by myself. I'm scared, you know. Maybe, maybe I should try going back to room 1A. If I stay in this other school building for too long, my head's really going to start pounding. Oh, is she going to be able to get in, though? Hopefully she can come across Satoshi and the two of them can go and try and get Yuka back. Ooh. Stop it! Just stop it already! We were killed by an educator. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. That was... The girl who wasn't involved in Suzumoto's death. She seemed different from the others. Lonelier, but why? Alright, so I guess, yeah, we're... Alright. Oh, she got, like, some blood on her leg or something? Treat tomorrow like a certainty. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's uh, Tachibana's turn for day duty tomorrow. I want to go back to class. I hate the idea that I might not be able to ever again. I swear I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Uh, Azu, Dudu, Seiko, Takano. Oh, now they're Seiko. Alright, so that was the girl in the red dress, right? So she seems to be okay. She seems to be one of the ghosts that I shouldn't be as afraid of.
Whether you're facing a flyer on the wall or just standing in the middle of the room, if you've got a hunch there's something nearby, use the X button. Oh, okay. Never give up. Okay, so maybe I'll go up to the flyers and try the X button then? X, 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 no, no, okay. All right, so something to keep in mind. That was just a straight up hint, so thank you, helpful ghost. There's a flyer here. X, nothing, okay. When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain and suffering you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. Your soul will never be released from its misery. There was this thing here, right? Like, oh, I can't get to it anymore. Or is that it? The door here that we try to get out of? I'm just gonna go around and just hit X on everything until hopefully something happens. Hopefully this won't be a situation like the last episode with the, um, that goddamn cabinet <laughs> that I kept passing over. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, this is a new body. There's an old crumple up piece of paper next to the body. Looks fresh. Well, Yuma, guess this is as far as you go. Exhaustion has set in, so it looks like it's the end of the road. My classmate Tom uh, Tomoe Mizuki climbed the fence around the outdoor walkway and slipped into the woods outside the school. It's been three days now. She still hasn't come back. All the while, I've been stuck here getting chased around by the ghost of a girl with nothing above her jawline. Oh no, I'm gonna get chased soon, aren't I? And I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrist, so I'm in no condition to keep running. I keep hearing this snip, snip sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real or if it's just a ringing in my ears. I wish I'd just die already, get it over with, so I can finally rest. Oh, but she'll never rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off at the jawline like that. Oh. Oh god, she did, didn't she? Oh god. Whoever this is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. It looks like she doesn't have a head, which means maybe the that ghost did get her, which means the ghost is probably gonna come get me too. Oh god. It hurts. It hurts so much. Even in death, it still hurts. Now and always. Oh, and there's the staticky. Still won't be able to get in, will I? Alright. Oh yeah, I said I wanted to go to class 1A, didn't I? I hope I can find Miss Yue soon. Like, I totally forgot about her. And the board's not here. So I can't get in that way. Oh yeah, right, there's a whole thing about, like, if you see something, press X on anything. Maybe the body, X, X. I feel like this is gonna be my new frustration, is just, like, trying to hit... Like, waiting to hit X on something? Oh. Congratulations on your arrival, our most heartful blessings we offer to thee. We'll be anxiously awaiting your death, and once everyone's dead, that's when we'll all be able to meet again. And then, the conquest begins. Eh, no. I'm just pressing X on every flyer I see. Oh, Jesus! Oh! Duh! Why did that body scare me more than the others? Okay, let's take a look. It's the body of a middle schooler. Whoever it is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. This is creepy! This is two bodies in the same room that have died very recently, which makes me really nervous. Uh, uh, Yosuke Maibana, I think. Oh, I'm so afraid. Uh, do I press X around here? Nothing still. All right. Oh, safe spot. Yes, please. Ooh. Thought that that little crack something was gonna happen there. 
Okay. I am so on edge right now, just waiting for something to happen. Alright, how, how's my bucket doing here? Rusted bucket on the ground. It's empty. Alright. Alright, so I'm guessing the comment. Oh, it's open! Okay. So I'm guessing the combination of the fact she said she wanted to go back to the classroom and pressing X. So maybe if I press X, something around this classroom, something's gonna happen. X, X, X. No one's responded yet. I wonder if anyone's even seen it. My message. There's glass all over the floor here. Be very careful where you step. Oh! Were there... Two bodies here? I feel like there was there was one body in here, but I'm so glad we could find each other before we died. We'll set off on this journey together, holding hands forevermore. There's nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know there was meaning in our lives because we were fortunate enough to find our soulmates, to find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. That's oddly sweet. To our mothers and our fathers, take heart. We died happy and wanted for nothing. And when we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We'll fly up to heaven and be joyous forevermore. Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you, but one day we'll meet again, up in the golden realm of the ever after. Luxern Senior High School, Class 3-2. Hotaru Kanazaki, Class 2-4. Nayuto... Minagatawa. Well, that's the nicest death so far that I've seen, I guess. There's graffiti on the wall here. Idiots, there's no getting into heaven from here. Alright, let's 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 take a look at the bodies here. One definitely looks more gruesome than the other. There are two large corpses here, both large enough to deduce they were probably high schoolers. It appears they died hand in hand, and their bleached white bones are still holding hands, even now. Lever is stuck, it won't budge. There does seem to be space for it to go down one more notch, but the mechanism is locked. There's a tiny, but, uh, peculiarly shaped keyhole in its base. Alright, so I'm gonna have to find a key for this thing. Oh! Oh! Oh. Ow. Ayumi's hands landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. The skin between the index finger and thumb on her right hand was cut wide open. Oh, man, these descriptions, though. I can just imagine that. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. It's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Oh no. <laughs> Just found out I'm anemic yesterday too. Great timing, huh? Oh no. Starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. Okay, do I have to find her a place? Should I go back to the classroom? Should I keep going? If I keep going, will she die? If I'm so... I don't know. I don't know. It's not like you're going to be rescued, after all. We already tried everything we could to get out. We exhausted every possibility. You might live another few days. Maybe even a week or two, if you tough it out. But can you stand to live that long with nothing to eat? Nothing to drink? No change of clothes. Dying is just a whole lot easier. So come on, join us. We're all waiting for you. It might even be fun. There are so many ways to die. Just imagine the possibilities. Well, we'll see a bunch of ways to die when I eventually do my bad end, uh, <laughs> my wrong end compilation. Or maybe I'll get a wrong end in, in this episode. 
But don't, uh, don't tarry. We're waiting after all. Waiting to welcome you. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Maybe I shouldn't have read that. I wonder if the more flyers she reads, the more she kind of loses her sanity. There's a body in here, isn't there? Oh, no, there's a safe spot, though. Oh. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. Read it. Sure. <laughs> I feel like I should read everything. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the uh, absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, at around 7 p.m. I feel like I've read this one before. Authorities further revealed a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses appeared to have its tongue severed and removed. Yeah, mutilation's far too gross. Okay, so yes, I have read this one before. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. X, X? No, all right. Oh, this X thing, like, what am I supposed to... There's just so much of this school. The shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. One book is sticking out farther than the others, as if begging to be pursued or perused, circumnavigating the ancient world. Read it. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, I hope I haven't just locked myself into a bad end here. The cardinal directions are to be laid flat upon a clock face with additional divisions placed amongst them to mimic fully times 12 notches. Beginning with the rat affixed at due north, the 12 signs of the Chinese zodiac shall be labeled clockwise around this timepiece compass. I really hope the game is not expecting me to remember this because I will not. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, root. Okay, you know what? I'm going to write this down. I feel like this is something that is going to come back later. And I feel like this is the type of game where you're actually, you are supposed to write things down. So hold on just a moment. All right, there. After me not writing things down in the last episode and getting stuck because of it, I'm going to try and be better. For ease of remembrance, it's best to equate each direction with both its zodiac sign and its hour on the clock. North, then, is both the rat and 12. Okay, so I'll write that too. So rat is north, is also 12 p.m. So each one represents, so... I guess 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. East is the rabbit, and east by southeast is the dragon. This is the basis of circumnavigation. Okay, that seems like very important information, so that's like directional and everything. Okay, cool. Oh, door seems to be affixed to the wall, cannot be opened. Great, all right. And I can't go this way. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Not going that way either. Shoot. Guess I'm heading back maybe to the classroom? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. There's a crumpled up note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the one we uh, they're not the ones we should hate. Their murder is uh, their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. Am I supposed to like sit she said she wanted to sit down. Is she supposed to maybe go to the infirmary? And maybe she'll meet up with uh, Naomi and, uh, well, Satoshi is already gone, but. Oh my gosh, I feel like an idiot. 
I totally like kept missing the uh, the oh. oh. Ooh, okay, that scared me. I was like, I kept walking past, I was like, I know I should be able to get to like the place where the infirmary is, because she's talking about how she needs to like, you know, lie down and ah, uh, I pass it over and over again. Finally, finally. Okay, so I can't go this way. Oh, oh, that's right, right. I forgot about that. I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. Oh, I'm glad I'm finally getting somewhere. I was losing my mind trying to figure out where to go next. Am I gonna come across? Oh! Oh, okay. No Naomi. And we've got something on the floor here. The antique doll you threw down earlier is still lying here. Pick it up. Ooh. Ooh, should I though? I f yeah, I guess whenever they say that, the answer I should always pick is yes. That creepy ass doll. Okay. Is there a save? There is a save. Thank God. Okay. Oh. Oh. What's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did someone move it? Either way, who cares? <laughs> There's a torn piece of newspaper on the ground. Looks like the top half an, of an article. Read it. Always read it. Tenjin Public Relations. The light and dark sides of Heavenly Hosts Elementary's Principal uh, Takamine Yanagihori. Ground was broken for Tenjin's muni uh, Municipal Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town, as no elementary school had stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for class, so for them in particular, Heavenly Host truly was a godsend. The, co uh, the coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takamine Yanagahori. Yanagahori quickly became popular among the townsfolk for his charismatic personality his work ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even general building expansion. Essentially due to Yana Gahori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. Okay. Got to find the other uh, half, I guess. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, each individual organ seems to be bloodstained and swollen as if it could burst forth with a spray of gore at any moment. I feel like one of these times I'm going to look at it and it actually will. And it's kind of the same old, same old. Am I, I'm guessing I probably want to lie on the bed. Give her, let her take a rest. And then there's the how to remove a tongue part two. Cut the tongue with a big pair, with a pair of big scissors. It's so thick and warm, but how will you know which, whose tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Simple, label it with a name tag. The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick the safety pin in deep <laughs> to keep the label from slipping away. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And then there's the pair of scissors. Oh. Oh, there's a spirit here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Back away slowly. Okay. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. All right. We're not going to go that way. Don't worry. We're going to leave this place now. Peace out, little child. Uh, I'm out. Oh, oh. Is that, th is that the little doll? The creepy little doll? Where is that coming from? Sounds muffled, like one of those toy uh, Mika doll telephones, but it's definitely close. Oh, 
It's that damn doll. It's making noises again. Should I pick this thing up? This thing is creepy as fuck. Okay. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, can I go out this way now? Probably not. No, okay. Alright. Maybe, maybe I should head back to the classroom. Does the spirit have anything new to tell me? No. Alright. What a nice ghost, though, you know? It's like all the other flyers are telling me, like, Oh, just give up, you're gonna die anyway. And that one is telling me not to give up. Motivational ghost. I might as well check out everything here first. Oh! Oh! It's that girl. Sayonaki, uh, Naho. You're a liar, liar, liar. Those child spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Give me back Suzumoto. <gasps> Yoshiki! I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Kishinama! Come on, give him a big ol' hug. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, that's right, he got hit by that guy, didn't he? You okay, Shinazaki? You're one to ask. What on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. Well, as soon as you turned that corner before, I got struck in the noggin from behind. But I'm fine, don't worry. Don't know, uh, don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. The child spirits were there, along with some really big dude holding a hammer. I'm shocked that he's still alive. I'm so happy, though. This is the lesson, guys. Don't separate from each other, please. How did you get here, then? Well, after a little while in that room, I lost consciousness again, and when I woke up, I was in the first floor hallway. So did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anyone else to die. Yeah. I am not mistaken. She's just standing there like, uh, I feel a little awkward right now. If each of those child spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then these closed spaces, given shape by their bound souls, should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets, though. And it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here, anyway? The man with the hammer who attacked you, he was their murderer. You, you serious? Well, 
Seems he's got a violent streak even in death as well. He harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. And how are we supposed to do that? Based on my mentor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hands should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. He was given it uh, he was given it by his mother, and reportedly he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a sec, who's this mentor of yours? Ooh. Oh! My personal affairs are, are not your concern. Uh-oh. What's happening? I think we gotta leave. I think we gotta leave. Yeah, I think it's time to go. Sorry about that. You'll need to find that man's body, or his remains at any rate. They should be in the school building somewhere, and if you find them and return the doll to their side... Everything will be just fine. Oh, she's creepy. Oh. You know, we're gonna let you just deal with that. We're gonna go. Miss Sanoki? Uh-oh, is she getting possessed right now? Come on. Come on, don't... Oh. Wow. Your friend's death is your own fault. Damn. What the hell was that all about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Maybe not, but it's as good a place to start as any. Earlier as I was passing through the first floor, the doll started crying, like weeping loudly. Seriously? Let me tell you, I sure didn't miss having that thing around. So I'm wondering if maybe the crying, we have to like follow the crying and we have to find out where this body, if the body's hidden somewhere, maybe it's kind of a thing, maybe the crying will pick up the closer we get to the body because it's connected to the body in spirit or something. Yes, yes. Perfect. Well, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? That's quite a bump you've got. Guy was a lousy aim, but he still hit my head full force with the handle. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Damn child killer. Uh-oh. You're lucky I just so happen to have some cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing that wound. So is there a decision? Because she cut herself, too. Like, do I give up my bandage for him, or do I keep it for myself? <laughs> Part of your prop closet, I take it? Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession, after all. I don't think I have a choice. I think she's going to do it regardless. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so good to have them back together again. And it looks like the door opened up there, so cool. Alright, first we save, and then we'll head over to that area, I guess, where the, um, the dolls started crying. Okay, I, I know I've already read this, but... Alright, so, we want to head down 
Oh boy. Want to head back over kind of where the infirmary is and then past the infirmary. I'm just so glad to have them back. <laughs> to have just two characters back together. Oh, here we go. So creepy. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me write this down. From Red Door... Okay, six steps. I am so glad I wrote that stuff down with the uh, things. Uh, 13 paces rooster. So that's going to be the um, direction. So horse. So if we're going, so rat is 12. So ox is so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6, 6 o'clock. So that's going to be south. And then 13 paces rooster. So rooster is... I'll figure it out when I get there. Okay, so the red door. That's going to be the um, uh, the place where the static is coming from, right? That's on this, that's on this floor. Okay, so... So from the red door. Okay, so... Okay, so here we are. So we're at the red door. So we want to go six steps south. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I can't. Uh, five, six, and then 13 paces rooster. So let me see. So the horse is six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get the general gist of it, but I'm just like, I don't know how to... Okay, so... Maybe I have to... Oh, and then there's the thing about pressing X, so maybe I have to press X while I'm doing it. The other thing I realized, too, is it's saying X, but that's assuming you're playing- Oh! Oh! I'm an idiot! I was literally pressing X because I realized that as I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it over and over again, but I realize I'm like, this is assuming I'm playing a PSP. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. I'm like, the X on this would be A, but I was literally hitting X on the Xbox controller. As soon as I start hitting A, I found it. Okay, one of the floorboards here is slightly raised, peering through the crack. You can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recesses below. Oh my god, I did it! I'm so happy I didn't even have to refer to the guide for it. I just used... I used, you know, I wrote stuff down, I used that, and also just blind luck. <laughs> With a bit of fidgeting, you were able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stained liberally with blood. There's a name tag attached to the front. He Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 3-5, Ryu Yoshizawa. What's going to be inside, I wonder? Here, have a look. Oh, such a gentleman, Yoshiki. No way, I'm not touching that thing. You look. I have a bad feeling about this. What is it? What is it? What's in the bag? See for, your, see for yourself. Oh, 
The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Return it. Return it. This name tag. It's a boy's name. It must be the ghost of the little boy. Oh, the one that's in the uh, infirmary? What do we do with it? Oh, it's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. Are you out of your mind? Oh, gross. Alright, well, I guess that's what we're doing. We gotta go back to the infirmary. Hopefully that's the right decision and he won't immediately try and kill me. Oh my god, man, that... That puzzle. I am so glad I realized it as I was walking around, you know, just pressing X over and over again, realizing I'm like, oh yeah, right, this is assuming I'm playing with a PlayStation controller, so... If I hadn't realized that, I could just be walking around for like, an hour just hitting the wrong button over and over again. Alright, here we go. Hopefully, I can save first before I uh, attempt to do it. I'm assuming that's the right thing to do. But, we're gonna go ahead and save first. Alright. Oh boy. Hi, this goes against everything that I want to do, usually. Oh, crap, he's looking right at me. Oh my god, so creepy. Ryo uh, Yoshizawa. That's right. I, I know your name. Show him the tongue. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize with what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair, pulling them into a horrible place like this. And killing them. You killed our dear friend. Okay, maybe don't yell at the ghost. Just give him the tongue. I can never forgive you for that. But this is yours. It's part of your body, so I'm going to give it back to you. Hand it over, Ryo's tongue. My tongue. My tongue. Thank you, miss. What? What's going on? I'm assuming that was the right thing to do. Is that the, uh, the planes being shifted? <gasps> yes! Here we go. Yes, it's gonna open back up for him, isn't it? Another earthquake? You've gotta be kidding me. And they can all meet up again! Then we'll have Naomi and Satoshi and, uh, and Kishinima and Ayumi together. I won't get anywhere by wallowing in self-pity here. 
Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. First things first, though, I need to go check on Naomi. Oh! Oh! Maybe because. Oh! Oh oh. Girl in the red dress. Hey, hey, you, wait. Oh, am I supposed to follow her? But I'm like, but the infirmary's right here. What do I do? What do I do? Alright, well, it makes sense to follow the ghost girl because, I mean, she hasn't led us astray yet. <laughs> At least I don't think so. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh yeah, there's that thing too. I gotta remember that. Now that it looks like we're gonna have some more people, can actually do that thing now. Oh, 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 what do we got here? Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Oh, Seiko's phone. This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Seiko seemed to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Shinohara. Suman. Shinohara. Aww. What a gentleman. Unlike uh, the other douchey, quote-unquote, big brother. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. This I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now, at any rate. Oh, I'm. What? It must have been after the fight, maybe? She was not happy with Naomi. Not that she should be. Naomi was being a little bitchy to her. Alright, so. I'm assuming that that's all that I can get here. That's what the ghost girl wanted me to find, so now we can go to the infirmary. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, Kish Kishinima, I always forget his name, how to pronounce his name. Oh, she's waking up. Uh, so hopefully him and, uh, Ayumi will be there. Aww. Seiko, I can't stop the bleeding from your chest. Whoa, everything's going white all around me. Naomi, when I die, will you be sad? Of course I'll be sad. Don't you dare die on me. If I do, I want you to leave me here. And find a way out of this school. Because I know, Naomi. I know you'll make it. If you die, Seiko, I, I don't think... It'll be okay. You have Mochita, even if I'm not around. He'll take care of you. What are you saying? You're an idiot. Look at you, your nose is all runny. I'll bet nobody else in class has ever seen you with so much snot before. What is wrong with you? Go 
I'm, I'm ready for this now, me. Don't feel bad about leaving me behind. Just go. Alright already, don't worry about me. Relax. I'm cold. Damn, I just realized I'm going to die without ever kissing anyone. I had a feeling that was coming. Will you kiss me? Will you kiss me, Naomi? Seriously? I just want to know what it feels like. Don't be stupid. It'll be okay. It's between us girls. You won't have to count it as your first kiss. Oh. Well, I mean, who am I to deny someone their dying wish? <laughs> I wonder if this is really going to have any sort of implication. I got kissed by Naomi. Your lips are a lot softer than I thought they'd be. Same here. Seiko, are you crying? Aww. Aww. Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have kissed her. Why now, me? I was ready, but now I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Aww. I want to be with you, Naomi. I want to be with you always. Damn, that's sad. It was all a dream? What the hell kind of dream was that? Alright, here we go. Oh, okay, she's up. Satoshi, please don't leave me alone in here like that. Sorry, I was out looking for Yuka. She's probably not even concerned about herself. She's worried the last time that she left someone by themselves, they died. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Did you find her? No, the corridor that leads to where I saw her last went back to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. It lo looks like the school Yuka, Shig, and I were in is different from this one. I'm going to call him Shig because that's easier. <laughs> We need to find a way, uh, we need to find some way of traveling from one space to another. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute, why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? 
Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I can imagine why she wouldn't want to be hanging out in there. I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black shadowy mist. So I was a little scared to be in there, afraid it might attack me again. You serious? I'm really sorry about that then. Ooh. Okay, don't worry about it, but there's something in there for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. Ah, oh, dang, at the same points in there, though. Ah, so I guess if uh, Ayumi and uh, Kishinima, they show up, we're going to have just missed them again. Naomi. Naomi, you seem spacey. Are you alright? I dreamed about Seiko. Oh. Oh. Seiko must have really suffered. She just wanted me to understand. Oh, I wonder if I had the option to show her the, uh, the text message or not. Naomi. Naomi, don't let it get to you, please. <laughs> Alright, so we're not going back in the infirmary, but now that we have Naomi, we can go to where that thing is, right? The, um, that flashing thing in that classroom. So now I've got two people. Okay, we're back on track. It feels good that I kind of have an idea of what to do next. Alright, so it's right there. The lights changed position again. Naomi, would you mind waiting here for a sec? Sure, no problem. She's done this before. Okay, so it's right in the middle. Naomi! Na Naomi, now, grab it. Okay, Okay, got it. Oh, the custodian's key. We can finally open up where that stupid static is coming from and hopefully turn it off. Awesome. Nicely done in there. <laughs> in fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we need to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before, with Seiko. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. And look at that, the door is right there. How very convenient. Alright, new room, sweet. And I have that cassette to play as well. Oh! Uh-oh. Who turned out the lights? Oh no. What the? What's going on? Oh, there's a ghost in here, isn't there? Why is it so cold? Ugh, something really smells. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? I know I said I wanted the uh, the static to stop, you know, playing, but not like this. I'll try. Found it. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Uh, 
Man, it does stink in here, and it's not just mold, is it? Ugh. Probably not. Ooh, what is it? Dead body? Decomposing something? Huh, that's odd. What is? Oh, nothing. Ooh. It's like deja vu. I could swear I've seen this room before. Has she? Or did this happen off screen? Anyway, let's check things out. Inside the cabinet, there's a notebook labeled Night Guard Logbook and a few crumpled pieces of paper. Uh, he I'm given Heavenly Host Elementary School Confinement Tour, maybe? Now taking applications. The sheets of paper contain what appear to be a seemingly endless list of names. The lettering is worn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. Wasn't it, uh, wasn't there a flyer on the wall saying something about, like, if you find name tags, bring them to the custodian? So he's collecting names? Huh, okay. There are old moldy tea leaves floating in the stagnant water. It's an old beat-up kettle. And do do it's an old-fashioned space heater. Something sticky seems to have melted all over the surface. There are stains everywhere. I'm worried about this room. There's going to be something in this room, isn't there? But first of all, the TV. This is the important thing. There's a Video 8 camcorder lying on top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out, however, as the LCD display isn't turning on. What is something this recent doing in a place this old? Maybe it belonged to someone who was brought here like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Dang, alright. Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV, and it's out of batteries, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. Oh, hello. There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. It's a follow-up to previous report. Read it. Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. Chasing Down the Hidden Past of the Cursed School Building, follow-up. By Ku Kibiki. Let's talk a bit more about Yosh uh, Yoshikazu... Yanagahori, beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal, Takamine uh, Yanagahori. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panache. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than that, uh, more often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he'd begin wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshikazu reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted, um, given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu uh, Yanagahori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. 
誘拐から殺害に至るまでの具体的な経緯が語られることはついになかった。But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. I was a person who was a person who was a person Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinozaki, age seven. Shinozaki Sachiko san, Toji Nanasai no, Sono go o t e m i t a In search of the truth behind the less scientific afflictions of the incident spurred, I of course chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Sachiko best as the girl with the strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. In cer- and certainly, if I were to find Miss Shinozaki and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full grown and hopefully well adjusted adult for over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. Oh, there they are! There they are! <gasps> I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I w- I'm guessing Shinozaki is probably a common last name. I- I'm wondering if Ayumi and maybe that girl, do they have some sort of connection? <laughs> I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Okay, but look, the ghost is gone. I guess we really managed to appease it. Are, are you alright? You should probably draw your tears and blow your nose at least. <laughs> what the hell? Not on my shirt. <laughs> I'm always down for whatever little laughter this game can give me. <laughs> Didn't I tell you before you shouldn't say things like that? <laughs> What are you, two? Ugh, that's really gross. Not good. She's not normally like this, Shinozaki. Maybe that's why she has connections to this place and, you know, the spirits is maybe she's related to this girl in the red dress somehow. I don't know. Either way. Oh, okay, let's save first, and、uh, then I'm not quite sure what to do. I guess now is just the part of the game where I just kind of walk around until something tells me that I'm going in the right direction. Oh, oh, there we go. Finally got something going. Something's here. Go to where the floor collapsed, but then got better. Oh, oh, let me write this down. Let me write this down. Once. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. One step rooster. Oh, crap. Shoot. Alright, l well. <laughs> 
I guess I'm gonna have to cheese it and just hope for the best. Just, uh, like, walk around and just hit X. And by X, I mean A this time. So the place where the floor got better... I feel like that happened quite a few times. Are they talking about this area here? I'm just just hitting, just hitting stuff. One step. Uh, this might not even be the right spot. Oh man, I hate these these little puzzles here. think what other places if not here did the floor collapse but then it got better maybe here oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus no 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 what the hell what the hell what the hell oh my god oh was not expecting ghost lady oh god what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah. Scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? Was not expecting a ghost there. The game lulled me into a false sense of security like I hadn't seen a ghost in a while, so I was like, alright, we're good. Shit. I don't even know if that's the right spot, though. I'm guessing so, but... I don't want to go back there, because she's going to start chasing me, and then I'm going to have to, like, try and solve a puzzle while a ghost is chasing me. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Alright, guys. I, I've just, I guess I'm just going to have to do it and hope for the best. This is terrifying. I know, I know there's a ghost here, and i got to try and do this puzzle. I don't even know if I'm in the right spot. Fuck. Oh. Though the floor here has clearly collapsed previously, the gap seems to have mysteriously closed up on its own. It feels completely solid. Oh. Okay, I thought I had it there. Dang it. I was all excited. That I got it. No. Oh, shit. There she is. Oh, fuck. Why is she chasing me? Who is this girl? Please leave me alone. Please. I just want to solve the puzzle. Just let me, just, just let me solve the puzzle, please. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, give it back, give it back. She's staring right at... The deep black socket where the girl's spirit's left eye once sat transfixed Ayumi's gaze. It begins slowly expanding in size. Damn it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it's been a while since I had a, uh, you know, a wrong end, so... I can't move my body. The girl's socket continues to grow, slowly and methodically enveloping Ayumi until only blackness remains. The world vanishes into nothingness as the empty cavity becomes an all-encompassing void, blotting out the whole of existence. Suddenly, in the distance, a tiny white face breaks through the darkness, shining with its own unnatural light. Why? 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 No, no, please, please, no, I'm so scared, please. 
The face seems distorted as if being viewed through water. Its expression shifts and wobbles for a bit, until finally, with some effort, the image clears. You've seen this face before. Somebody, somebody, please help. All right, well, there we go. Another wrong end. I can check I can check off the uh, the list there. That one wasn't as bad as the other ones. I feel bad saying that, but it wasn't nearly as descriptive. <sighs> Shoots. Alright, so I did look it up, and it's here. I would not have even guessed it would be here. So it's in this area. Like, never in a million years did I think it would be here. So I'm glad I looked it up, otherwise I would have spent literal hours trying to find it. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out something shiny in the dark recesses below. Try to pull it out. From beneath the floorboards, you manage to fish out a crank-like key that resembles the winder from an old-fashioned pocket watch. What the heck is this? Doesn't look like it would fit any door I know. I know exactly where that goes even, like, I, o I literally only looked up the guide to where the thing is. After that, I'm blind again, but I do know where this thing goes. This goes in that crank where the bodies are in the classroom, if I'm not mistaken. The winder you found looks like it'll fit perfectly in the keyhole at the base of the lever. It did indeed slip into the device without any trouble, but nothing happened. Oh, lovely. Oh, come on. So that's it, like, what? There's space for it to go down one more notch. Try forcing it? Oh, I'm glad I double-checked that. Uh, yes. Hopefully I won't break it. There we go. Sweet. Oh. Okay, whole new area. Sweet. I say sweet, but there'll just be more horrible things for me to find, so... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, lovely. Oh. Weird, it's like in sepia. Get a load of this place. It's like it's from the 20s or something. It's all black and white. What the hell? Get a load of this place. It's got showers and everything. Apparently you don't want to drink the water, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh creepy. Oh, God, I hate that. It hurts. Make it stop. Oh, God, my head. Oh. Oh, that's awful. Blood? Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Uh-huh. Another nosebleed. If it's just her nose, it's fine, but if a blood vessel bursts in her brain or something... Here, Shinozaki. Stuff some tissues up your nose to stop the bleeding. Thanks. I have some of my own, but since you got yours out, uh, out already... Yeah, go ahead. Aw, say a sweetie. I like these two. I like I like all of them. I like I like Naomi and uh and Satoshi. I like these two. 
I like all these guys and I help all of them live. <laughs> Except Shig. I don't like Shig. <laughs> Did the ghost get to her? No, she's been a little off since before that. I think she's probably le uh, reached her limit. She needs to rest. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh! Oh no! Oh crap! Oh crap! Your own reflection stares back at you. Strangely, you have more wrinkles than you remember. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Alright, can I... No matter how hard you turn the handle, no water is coming out of the faucet. Hey, another bucket! Sweet! Let's check out this bucket. The bucket is crammed full of discarded underwear, all twisted up like wrung out dish rags. Ew. Ew. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck on that. Not what I was expecting inside that bucket. Okay. Uh, high school uniform has been shoved haphazardly into this locker. Uh, Yakuya are... I don't know. Alright, well now I gotta like feel like I've gotta explore everything now that I could potentially miss something. But I'm just afraid, like, that little ghost is gonna just pop out of nowhere maybe if I hang around too long. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe with that little girl ghost that appeared, maybe it's because I hung around too long on that floor and she just... You know, she showed up to kind of, like, get me out of there, to kind of, like, move me along, be like, hey, this isn't where you want to be. Oh! Oh! Okay. No running by the pool. This is... This is interesting. A pool, huh? I can't even see the other side of it with all the rain. All right, here goes. Shinozaki, this clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll for a bit? You'll catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. Aw, he's such a gentleman, but also, guys, don't separate. This happened before. And what's going to happen if a ghost shows up again, huh? You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll call you and let you deal with it. <laughs> and you can come to my rescue. Alright, just don't do anything stupid. Thank you. You say something? I've got to try and lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. Oh wow, this is a this is a big ass pool. Damn, alright. Okay, so... Oh, there was a thing that I gotta read there. Do I dare try and go inside the pool? I feel like that might be a terrible idea. Okay, so I saw that one... Oh! Wait, what? I could swear there was a, a note here. Okay, let me go back. I was so sure that there was like a crumpled up note on the floor when I was over on this side. There was two- oh, okay, I see, I can't reach- okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I can't reach it from there. Caution, confirm all swimmers have vacated the pool before draining. There's a sign on the door that says pump room. The door is locked. Oh, okay. That wasn't there before, was it? It looks like there's a key lodged in the crank between two tiles. Try to dig it out. Always say yes. <laughs> Acquired pump room key. Well, isn't that convenient? Pump room, huh? I've had enough. Whoa! Uh-oh. What? Oh shit, there's a there's a timer. Oh shit. 
Was that a Yumi? Was that... No, there's no way. Come on, give me a break here. Oh, come on, give me a break. Fucking timer, really? Do I go in? What do I do? It's essentially an oversized faucet or pump, usually used for filling the pool. Oh no, the timer doesn't stop when I look at things. Uh, okay. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Okay. What do I do? I guess I maybe try and drain the pool? Do I have to drain the pool? Oh shit, damn it, she's not here. I guess it really was her then. Fuck the- What the hell is she thinking? Why is the timer still going during this? Okay, I guess I've gotta go to the pump room and I've gotta drain it? Fuck, I wish I could run. What is wrong with me? What am I doing? Should have never taken my eyes off her. This is all my fault. God damn it. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, let's go to the pump room, I guess. Or do I go in and try and save her? Shinozaki? Shinozaki. Oh shoot, I do go. Okay, where was it? Was it here? Pretty sure this is where the, where the waves were coming from. Uh, let's try it, okay. Oh god, the timer's still going. Please let me find her, please. Oh, that wasn't it, was it? Shit. She's not here. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my god. I'm only gonna have a few- oh god. Okay, come on. Shit. I think I'm gonna fail this one. Oh, I should have paid better attention. I am- Oh, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. I failed. I failed. Shit. She's not here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yumi. Oh, no. God damn it. Poor Kishinima, he like, I'm gonna try and help her out, and then she fucking dies, like, 30 seconds after. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Well, <laughs> that's two wrong ends in one episode. Alright, so as soon as I pick up this, that's when it seems to... <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming I have to do this, but okay, so I just gotta really pay attention. <laughs> okay, alright. Okay, so it's way further out than I was thinking. Now, do I go- am I allowed to go in? Oh shoot, okay, so I've got to check the locker room first, regardless. Alright. Oh, that just eats up time. Okay, let's go. Alright, so she was around this area here, I think? Maybe a little further away, but I've got more time at least. No, alright. Oh, yes, yes, yes! It's her! Don't worry, Shinazaki, I'm pulling you up. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright. Whew. Damn, that's stressful. At least she still got a pulse. Come on, breathe already, damn it. And then she's gonna wake up, thinks he's kissing her, and freak out on him.
God, don't worry me like that. And then just like Naomi, she's probably going to have no memory of doing that. You back with me now? So tell me, why the hell did you jump into the pool? You called me out there, didn't you? I what? I heard your voice, so I ran outside, and after that, I don't remember much else. The next thing I knew, my, my vision was all the sickening green color and my mouth was full of water. God damn it, was this the work of those ghosts again? I can't believe they can trick us so easily. There's got to be something in that pool. Oh. Ugh, there's something stuck in my tooth. God, it's like algae or something. Ugh, it's probably something grosser than algae. <laughs> I wonder if the showers still work. Of course not. Nothing. I can't get rid of this horrible taste and I smell absolutely putrid. I hate this. How does she think I feel? Oh, guys, come on. Don't, don't do this again. Don't get into another fight. Oh, guys, also, drink that water. Like, open up your mouths. Get, well, the bucket is full of gross underwear, but, like, you could empty that out, fill it with some rainwater, you've got something to drink, at least. Shinozaki, how about we go in the rain and wash ourselves off a little? Though I don't know how much help rainwater will be for getting that taste out of your mouth. Okay. Knowing this game, like, it's not algae, it's probably like fucking dead skin or something. Something from a body. Alright then, let's go. After this, I guess we'll need to figure out how to dry our clothes. Feeling better? Yeah, surprisingly, I was able to rinse out my mouth pretty thoroughly. Were you? That's good. So, Shinozaki, while I was out here, I came across a room in the back I'd kind of like to check out. I'll go with you. Yes, no more splitting up, please. Nothing but bad things happen when you do that. That's probably for the best. Alright, let's do it. The key was so rusted and brittle that it instantly snapped as soon as it was turned. Fortunately, it had already done its job. Uh, a crude label written on the piece of tape attached to the device reads water pump. Right below it, there's a slot for some sort of lever or handle. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find that. Awesome. Ooh. The valve wheel is labeled drainage. Turn it? Uh... Sure? 
Oh, I was right. Dead bodies. There are dead bodies in there. That's what she was tasting in her mouth. Lovely. So, so lovely. Ugh. It's the corpse of a very tiny individual. Being pick, uh, pickled in this filthy brine for so long seems to have bloated its skin into a patchwork of pustules. Oh, that lovely description. Kanzuki Saito. Oh, I can go and read that note up there now. It's the body of a female student, rotting and decayed. Mitsuki Kamiju. Nope, uh, nope, can I go up there? There we go. I removed the wheel from the water pump and threw it into the pool. Hopefully, that'll keep anyone from finding the little treasure I left in the spigot. That bitch killed my friends. She can spend eternity without a tongue for all I care. Ooh, okay. So, another tongue. Which means I'm probably going to have to give it to another ghost. Okay, so I have to find the water wheel to put into the thing for a spigot. There's a tongue hiding in a spigot. Alright, well let's check out the rest of the bodies first. Based on size, this appears to be the body of a high schooler. Long-term exposure to the dirty, contaminated water has left it quite a mess. A Hirun Tanaka. It's the body of a female student rotting and decayed. Uh, Sukasa Surida... Okay, never mind. All right, so let's find, probably in here, I'm guessing. The dim lights around you are reflecting off something deep inside the drainage grate. Try to fish it out. What is this thing? Some kind of handle? All right, and I know exactly where to put that. Oh, come on. There we are. Attach the rusted valve wheel. Yes. Alright, so now I've got to find these spigots. That's as far as it's going to go, I think. It's too rusted to turn anymore. What else is around here? Oh, there we are! It's a small hemp bag stained with copious amounts of blood. It seems to have fallen from the spigot. An elementary school student ID name tag is attached to it. Heavenly Host Elementary School Class 1-6. Tokiko Suji. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. It's a, it's a girl's name. Ooh, is that the girl that was walking around the, um, before when I was trying to solve that puzzle? Tokiko's tongue. All right, so now we're going to have to find her. Come on, get up there. Oh, all right. Well, there we go. Definitely got some stuff done there. That was a little stressful, but until we find this ghost, hopefully things will just calm down a little bit. All right. I want to get a- oh, okay. Blood from Ayumi's nose. Alright, let's get out of here. But where do I go is the question. Does it belong to that girl or do I have to go- oh, jeez, there she is. Okay, oh, no, that's the girl in the red dress. Alright, always follow the girl in the red dress. Alright. Here we go again. Where the hell is it going to take us this time? Alright, I'm ready to write stuff down, just in case. <laughs> oh, 
where your friend was splattered. Lovely. I know exactly. Oh, the floorboards beneath that wall. Right under her globby entrails. Ooh, gross. Where the floor dips and the blood pools. Drip, drop, drip, drop. <laughs> smelly, smelly, icky, icky. Ooh, get in there good and dig it out. Gross. Gross. At least there's no, like, five steps rooster, six steps ox or whatever. Oh! Oh, she threw it. I thought it was skittering away from her. I thought it was moving on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a good laugh at this, you sick son, son of a bitch? God, if that's where it is. I'm not sure we can ever bring ourselves to get it. Oh? Uh-oh. Is someone there? Who's that? Oh, you! Morishige, you're alive. Hey, you're all about, like, the bodies. You, you you are more than welcome to go and dig in there. You'd probably love to get your fingers all in those entrails. It's just so creepy because he never seems to really, like, be all that excited to see them. He just acts like he's, I don't know, just seeing them at school. Ah, Kishinima and her class rep. I'm very glad to see you both safe and sound. He almost seems to enjoy himself here. He's like, can I just stay here? You guys can go back. What happened? It's a long story. So where have you been? Taking pictures. Chasing little girls. I was in the second wing until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. And when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Oh yes, and I did briefly cross paths with Mochita and his sister. Like, he's just so blasé about it. You didn't? So they're okay too? Hmm. They are. Though when I ran, uh, when I next ran into Mochita's sister, it seemed she and her brother had parted ways. Morishige? Uh, Morishige? What is that in your hand? <laughs> Did he already dig it out? Is he just shuffling around in, uh, in people's bodies? Oh. Morishige appears to be grasping a blood-soaked pouch in his hands. He did, too! <laughs> oh my gosh, he just happened to be... Oh. oh, this guy is such a sick fuck. Oh, this? I have found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Just up these stairs. Is it some kind of charm? Do you want it? Please take it. I'm merely searching for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms at the present time. She's probably like, why the fuck are you going around looking like through people's guts? It's not like he was told by the, the doll to do that. He just did it of his own free will. Received another tongue bag from Morshig. As with the others, there's a student ID name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School Class 5-2, Yuki Kano. Yeah, 
Well, I should be going now. Is something wrong, class rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Why would- Okay. Oh yes, one more thing. Mochita said we should all try to meet in classroom 1A. I was gonna say everyone should try and stick together, but I'm- I'm okay with this guy, like, not being in my party. Oh, uh, okay. They both know something's up with this guy. Something's off. Uh, I'm guessing... <laughs> it wasn't from, you know, Suzumoto's spot? I'm, uh, maybe it shifted over a few feet, and he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... That really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. God, this guy's even more gross than I thought. Like, there's one thing to take pictures, but to actually, like, be digging around in it. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so now I've got two tongues. So, I guess I don't really have to go back up here, but okay. I can't go this way. I, I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. I know just what you mean. God damn it, why did she have to die like that? Oh, I guess I don't have any other choice. Oh boy, oh boy. Can I save first? It's been so long. <laughs> I did not mean to read that, but okay, we're just gonna skip over it. Like, am I heading the right way? Because I can't go up anymore, but also the ghost kind of brought me here. But also... Oh! 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 Okay. 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 So, I've got some tongues. <laughs> Which one is yours? Let's try it. Let's try it and hope for the best. I'm hoping I have at least one thing here that... Can I give you a tongue? Person? Okay, this is creepy. You're not actually doing anything. I can't interact with you. I'm so confused. Like, what's... What's going on here? Alright. Okay, alright. I guess I'm just gonna go? I don't understand. I've got two tongues, I've got one ghost. I don't know what to do. Alright, maybe it's that- so there, there is that ghost girl around here, so maybe... She runs into me and I can give her the tongue. Maybe. Just freaked out. Like, where is she? Is she still walking around? <gasps> oh, Jesus, there's two of them. Okay. Uh-oh. Which one do we give it to? Uh-oh. Okay, let's try you. Oh. Oh. Give it back. Give it back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This girl's missing an eye. And the other one's missing most of her head. Uh oh. All we've got are tongues. Is that going to be enough? What do we do? Uh oh. Pull out the tongue bags? Yes? The girls lower their heads, or what's left of it in one case, and begin rocking slowly back and forth as if feeling anxious. Kano, Yuki Yuki Kano, Tokiko Chuji. These are for you. They're yours, aren't they? Hand it over the two bags. Oh god, I was afraid if I didn't have the eye. Like, I was like, shit, do I need an eye too? Am I- am I going to uh, die because I don't have everything I need? Am- am I okay? 
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, whew. Okay. I was nervous there. <laughs> we, did we did it, Shinozaki. All three of them. Oh, no more. Every time I talk to these ghosts, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. Oh god, she's probably is she gonna die in order to save the rest of them? Do you have any idea what it's what that's like? I keep picturing how I'll look when I'm dead, and I'm not even trying. It just pops into my head all on its own, and it's such a horrible image. I want to go home. I just want to go home. Back to my mom. And my sister. And Mochita. Why are all the girls uh, wanting Mochita, apparently? <laughs> oh, is he a little jealous? Shinozaki. Alright, next one is mine then, okay? Uh-oh, so just try to pull yourself to get- what? God damn it, not again. This one's big too. Oh! Uh oh. Oh no. I've unleashed the beast here, I think. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh crap. <laughs> what have I done?